guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you two of Jeffree Star's newest metallic lipsticks in the shade No Tea, No Shade, which is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now, and the shade Putty Whipped, because I'm not going to say the P word. I don't think I'm allowed to say the P word on the internet. So we're going to say Putty Whipped. Um, so if you want to know what the swatch like, then keep on watching. I'm also going to be comparing all of the blood shades that a Jeffree Star has come up with, uh, come out with, I mean, in Rich Blood, Unicorn Blood, and Designer Blood, because I own them all, because I love red lipstick. So if you want to see the comparisons on those and some of his newest shades, then keep on watching. All right, so I have everything swatched on my hand already, so let's just get into it. So both Putty Whipped and No Tea No Shade come in the classic component with the pink tops. So hopefully that means that these are not limited edition. Usually Jeffree will put out limited edition um, lipsticks with different colored tops. That's how you know they're limited edition. Um, so these are regular pink, so hopefully they're going to be around forever. So let's start with Putty Whipped. Um, when I saw this on his site, I was like, it looks like a, a beautiful peach metallic. And it is. This is Putty Whipped right here. And on my skin tone, it's coming off as a golden peach, which I really, really love. This kind of reminds me of the shade Amber Rush from the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow line. So that's Putty Whipped. And these metallic shades don't have a scent, unfortunately. Some of his um, lipsticks have like watermelon scent or like root beer scent. This doesn't have a scent. Um, as far as how they feel in the lips, like I said, I'm wearing No Tea No Shade right now. They're a lot lighter than some of his other shades. So I'm not sure what he did differently. Maybe he changed up the formula because it is a metallic shade, but it feels really, really light on the lips. Like super, super light. Um, I'm not sure if it's transfer proof. Let's find out. All right, so you get a little bit of transfer and I put this lipstick on about probably like 20 minutes ago, so it should be dry, but as you can see, you get a little bit of transfer, just a tiny bit, but on the lips, it comes off as a matte with like metallic, obviously it's a metallic lipstick, with like metallic, with a metallic finish. I wouldn't say it's like, like like sparkles in it but it's like a finish a metallic finish it's hard to explain and on the lips it feels really really smooth it's not gritty whatsoever so i think jeffrey did a really good job coming up with this formula because it's ball um on to the next shade which is no tea no shade this one is a little bit hard for me to describe it's like a violet brown gold it's kind of kind of a weird shade. I've never, I don't have anything like this in my collection. Um, the closest thing I can think of is the NYX Lip Cream Crayon in the shade Enamored. No tea, no shade. Um, also does not have a scent to it, unfortunately. Um, but I can get over that because this, this one, I haven't, I haven't worn this one, but this shade right here is bomb. I actually revolved this look around this lipstick and I think it's gonna work at least these two shades um, these are the two that he's come out with thus far these two shades I think are gonna work for all different kinds of skin tones of course depending on how fair or dark you are they're gonna come off differently I'm kind of like in the middle a little bit more on the fair side so it is coming off a little bit darker but if you're fairer than me this is gonna come off like as a vampy lipstick for me right now it doesn't really it's not really like dark dark at least not as dark as what I would consider to be a vampy lipstick and then of course if you're deeper than me it's gonna come off a little lighter um, for this putty whip shade <laughs> I'm gonna wear this on the daily I think this is a daytime color no doubt no tea no shade maybe you can do like day and night but this pussy whip shade Oop, I said this Putty Whip shade, um, I think I'm definitely going to be wearing during the day, revolve a really like highlighted look around it because this is so pretty. I'm just super excited that he came out with metallic lipsticks and that the formula is not shit. That's what I'm really, really excited about because when you do something different, at least in my opinion, when you can love a brand and then when they do something different, sometimes it just 
it's just not good. You just don't want to even try the new stuff because it's just shit. But um, I think Jeffree Star is like everything he touches turns to gold. Um, so I'm super excited with whatever other new shades that he's coming out with. I own a lot of his lipsticks and I'm in love with his brand. All right, so moving on to the blood shades that Jeffree Star has come out with. So first we have Rich Blood, which is the one that I just got. It came back in stock. I've been waiting for like, like seven months to get my hands on this shade. Um, the next one is Unicorn Blood, which honestly and formula wise is my least favorite. And then lastly, we have Designer Blood. So Unicorn Blood and Rich Blood, I think came out around the same time. And then Designer Blood just came out right before Christmas. So in my opinion, formula wise, um, I don't really like Unicorn Blood. I love the shade, don't get me wrong. The shade is on point, but I'm not sure if it's because I've been abusing it so much, but my poor little wand is all kinds of jacked up and the product is kind of clumpy. It does go on a little streakier. This is not focusing, I'm sorry. It does go on a little bit streaky compared to the other um, blood shades. My all-time favorite favorite, currently, unless he comes out with something new, um, is the Designer Blood Shade. And this is part of his holiday collection. Notice the red cap. Um, so this just came out for Christmas. Uh, along with this one, I got Crocodile Tears. He also came out with Chrysanthemum and a whole bunch of other um, shades that you can get in a bundle. I'll leave the link down below. Um, this is my favorite shade ever. I love red lipstick, especially deep, rich burgundy reds. And I did a look using this lipstick. I'll leave that in the cards and down below in the description box. But um, this is my favorite like deep red lipstick right now. And if we're talking bright lipstick, like a blue base lipstick, rich blood, rich blood. I am so happy that I finally got my hands on this. And what's different from this What's different, and what makes this shade different from his other reds, like the ones I showed you, and then Anna Nicole, and I believe there's one other one, Red Rum. This has gold micas in it. So you put it on your lips, and it just looks like, you know, a blue base red, whatever. But you rub the lipstick, and it starts getting shiny because there's like little flecks of gold in it. And it goes on really, really smooth. Once again, not gritty. I don't know if he considers this a metallic lipstick maybe this is a metallic lipstick I don't know um but I love it and this is not limited edition this is in a pink component um it's just always sold out so I finally got my hands on it super happy about that overall I'm super excited for everything that Jeffree Star is coming out with especially in the last part of 2016 and now he said in 2017 I believe it's in March he's releasing another palette so I didn't buy the first palette because it was a little it was a little too colorful for me but this next palette um, I haven't seen any of the shades but he says it's like a neutral palette with a twist so I'm assuming there's not gonna be any blues in there um, hopefully there's gonna be like coppers and warm browns which I love um, so I'm just super excited about all the new things he's coming up with and hopefully he makes more metallic lipsticks Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Swatches. <laughs> give me a big th thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. And if you wanna see this makeup look, I'll leave the link um, right here in the cards and down below in the description box cause it will probably be up before this video. Anyway guys, I hope to see you in the next one.